trust me. I know what I'm doing. Mayjoy, I want you to hold this sleaze ball for questioning. I have a feeling he was about to commit a crime, so find out what he was going to do and book him. Uh, Inspector, you can't arrest someone before they commit a crime. Hey, this is crime prevention week, remember? All right. Anybody mind if I turn on the TV? There's a show I gotta see. Boy, I hope I didn't miss this. Hammer, I haven't seen you this excited about TV since they colorized World War II footage. Yeah, what's so important? Liam Jackson is being interviewed. We should have more judges like him. We did, in the Spanish Inquisition. That man is completely over the edge. Didn't he put a man on death row and leave him there until he died of old age? And nobody mentions his sense of humor. In keeping with Crime Prevention Week, my special guest is Superior Court Judge Liam Jackson. Welcome, Your Honor. You've got quite a reputation as a hard liner. You've even been referred to as the Hanging Judge. When did you get that name? At my baptism. We know how you feel about the death penalty. Where do you stand on the electric chair? Right next to the switch. Hey, you! This is city property! You little bug! Hammer, turn that damn thing off, please! You just can't take it, can you? Well, I'll tell you one thing. That's my kind of judge. I hand him the criminals on a silver platter, and he carves the turkeys up. Doro, the Surgeon General should issue a warning against listening to Hammer. Oh, he's not so bad, Captain. Oh, really, once you get to know Hammer the way I have? You feel exactly the same. City full of rejects out there waiting to get busted, and you're taking me for a walk in the park. Hammer, it's our lunch hour. I think it's a good idea we take a little time and appreciate nature. Hey, listen, I appreciate nature as much as the next guy, OK? Oh, look, come on, I'll buy you an ice cream. Hammer! Well, enough leisure, girl. I'm ready to hit the streets. Oh, Hammer, it was a nice change of pace. You know it. You just can't admit it. Hammer? Oh, Your Honor, I'd like you to meet my partner, Dory Duro. A pleasure to meet you, Your Honor. Pleasure. She's a pacifist. So you're hearing cases on park benches now, huh, Judge? No, I've eaten my lunch here every day for the last 10 years. It's very relaxing. Want to make something of it? Isn't he something? Well, it must be a great responsibility being a judge. It's all in the execution. Well, the way I figure it, Your Honor, if there were a few more judges like you and a few more cops like me, there'd be no criminals on the streets. Of course, possibly there'd be no people on the streets either, but then you can't have everything. Sledge, you really have to be going. It was a pleasure meeting you, Your Honor. Likewise. You go ahead, Duro. I'll, I'll, I'll catch up. OK. Uh, Your Honor, that autograph? Oh, yeah, right. I haven't got it. Hey, um, here. To Sledge, Judge Jackson. <laughs> Your Honor, it's been an honor, Your Honor. Long live the death penalty. Excuse me, may I sit here? Certainly. Approach the bench. You come here every day? Yes, I do. How do you know that? You just told me. You know, you're a very attractive man. No, I'm not. Just exactly what is it that you want? I'd like to take you to a quiet little bistro. I have a special table there. I have a trial in an hour. Or I could call in the verdict. Guilty. Good. I'm very impressed. You're a wonderful pool player. I would let you win a game, but I never give clemency. I hope I'm not boring. 
Maybe I could make this game more interesting. Mm -hmm. How about the loser sleeps with the winner? No. How about fifty thousand dollars? Fifty. How about one hundred and fifty thousand? <laughs> what a kidder! <laughs> okay, rack 'em, Judge. Light. Seven in the $150,000. You're serious? You bet. You haven't got any witnesses, and I'm not going to pay. Oh, yes, you are. Who are you? Iron Mike Hecklesmiller. Iron Mike? Don't ask. Now, you made quite a sizable bet with Lana here. It was a joke. Anyway, gambling is illegal, and it's your word against mine, so I'm leaving. Not so fast, Judgey. Got it all on videotape. VHS and beta! It's not going to cost you a cent. We are going to take it out and trade. Hmm? Hammer, you're going to find this very, very interesting. Courthouse, where just moments ago, Judge Liam Jackson dismissed all charges against reputed mobster Ron Phil Curlman. He should have nailed him. His own mother testified against him. Oh, wait, here comes the judge. Judge Jackson, why the dismissal? No comment, you probing toad. Well, there you have it. This I guess your buddy's Ryan gone soft. Why would he do that? Why would he let that scum off? I'm gonna go talk to him. Excuse me, Russ. There goes Miller. Yeah. This is Judge Jackson. I hate myself for helping that rotten friend of yours, and I'm going public. I'll throw myself on the mercy of the court. I just hope I don't draw myself as a judge, because then I'll get the death penalty. Why, that dirty, rotten, stinking, uncorrupt judge is going public. I've got to stop him before he yaps. You want me to take care of him, boss? No. This is a woman's work, Lana. Shop. What's wrong with this goldfish? What's the matter? Steak? You don't feed them steak. Now their poor little stomachs are all upset. Don't worry. Daddy's going to make you feel better. Yes. Yes, you're going to feel good now. You. How did you get in here? I'm very resourceful. I crawled in through the doggy door. I don't have time for any more dirty pool. That's not why I'm here. I... Your Honor. Give a girl a chance, hmm? I wanted to give you something from uh, me and our Mike. Mm. Mm. What did Iron Mike want to give me? His condolences. neighborhood watch around here. Hammer, Jackson's in here. Excuse me, Your Honor. Your Honor, I demand an explanation. Now, what got into you today? Hammer! Darrell, please. The one judge I trust, and he stabs me in the back. Go ahead. 
Hide your face. Hammer, listen to me. Duro, just a minute. I just want to know what excuse you could possibly have for letting that slime ball go free. Hammer, he's dead. Well, I guess as excuses go, that's one of your better ones. through the heart. Very clean. Very professional. I'm really touched when someone takes such pride in their work. Fine, but what about this case, Norman? Right. I found traces of blue chalk underneath his fingernails. I'll check it out further and let you know if I find anything else. Have a nice day. Thanks again, guys. What's that foul odor I smell? Hmm. What, are you wearing that perfume I gave you for Christmas? No. Cigar smoke. Cuban, I think. Your perfume smelled worse. Yeah. So the judge smoked cigars. And here's the matches. Guess he won't be needing these anymore, huh? You know, people who smoke usually use ashtrays. There are no ashtrays in this room. Well, he was rich. He used the carpet. Let's see, Jackson, divorced, two kids, no close friends. See, not much else. Billiards. Pool. The judge was a pool player. Yeah, so? The blue chalk, the pool chalk, to chalk the cue, a clue. A clue? What cue? A clue. Look, I picked these up off the judge's desk. Pretty smart thinking, huh, Duro? They're from a pool hall. How does all this tie together? I have no idea. Let's go talk to Trump. I just got off the phone with the commissioner. He's been yelling at me every hour on the hour. Well, now you know what it feels like. He wants the judge's murder solved yesterday. Do you have any hard evidence I can go on? We've got something better than that, sir. Oh, that's terrific. I'll tell the commissioner. What is it? A hunch. God, Hammer. No, no, but it's a good one. You see, the coroner found blue chalk under the judge's fingernails. Then we found out the judge was a pool player. I found these matches on the judge's desk. They're from a pool hall called Q's R Us. Now, what if the judge was hustled into letting that goon go? I'm going down to the pool hall right now and see if I can get hustled. Just a minute, Hammer. This case is too important to trust to you and your hunch. I'm going with you. Captain Trunk, I'm reporting live. Any new developments on the Jackson murder case? Um... Actually, I can't... Um, I'm Inspector Sledgehammer. What the captain's trying to say is we just discovered some concrete evidence that will crack this case by tomorrow morning. Oh, no, you screwed up. That cop Sledgehammer is wise to us. No, he couldn't possibly be. I told you not to leave any clues. In and out, no fuss, no... Don't whine. If I wanted a man who whined, I'd date Dick Cabot. All right, Hammer, I have to admit that fake disclosure was a good idea. I know it's a long shot, sir, but it could flush out the killer. Now, one more thing, Hammer. What's that? Don't ever push me out of a close-up when I'm on camera. Makes you think you can shoot pool. The operative word here is shoot. When it comes to shooting, I'm the best there is. Three games already. Nobody's even looked at us. Well, that's how pool hustlers operate. They move in on you slowly. <coughs> Gotta keep your hands off the table, sir. You might lose that nail. I don't know. All right. Let me see you make this one. I'll jump the four and the five, three ball in the corner pocket. I'm sorry about that, Captain, but you knew when you signed up the police work is dangerous, huh? Get with me, Hammer! I'm gonna make a phone call, make an appointment for a CAT scan.
Hi. My name is Lorna. You handle your cue stick very well. May I join you in a game? <laughs> yeah, right, lady. Why don't you go get your ears pierced or something? Please, sir. I may not be a great player, but I could give you a good game. Just beat it, girlie, before somebody sees me talking to you. Come on, just one game. All right, if you're gonna be pushy about it. Good. They should never allow women in pool halls. Now, to make it more interesting, shall we play for a few dollars? How much is a few? A hundred. It's your money, lady. Rack them up. Gambling is illegal, and normally I wouldn't take that, but I want to teach you a lesson. Give me another chance to win it back. Double or nothing to make it interesting. Oh, lady, you're wasting my time. I'm looking for a pool hustler. One more game. All right. Rack em. So many I think you owe me the grand total of $50,000. Give me one more chance. No. I'll play a double or nothing. No. Shouldn't you give me one more chance? Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Looks like you found your hustler. No kidding, Darrow. Let's take her in. Not yet. I got one more game to play. What are you gonna do if she wins? Shoot her. Okay. Double or nothing, you break. You won't be coming. I knew that would happen.
your mother ever teach you pool hall etiquette? I never had a mother. That's a lousy smokescreen, lady. Watch this. I shoot better than the late judge. Sorry, lady. Pool party's over. All right, fuzz. Drop your piece. Hey, put that thing away before somebody gets hurt. Besides, it's not even a regulation cue. Ah! Oh. How did a nice girl like you get mixed up in a racket like this? I'm so ignorant. I'm not a nice girl. Ouch! Ouch. I like to call my shots. I take your arm off next. You do, and you'll pay for the jacket. Yeah, come on up and fight like a man. Ah! Best shot I made all day. Boy, Heckles Miller sure had a good scam going. Yeah, next you'll be doing his hustling in the big house. Emmer, I can't get over how well you play pool. Captain, I think I finally figured out how to do that jump shot. Now watch this. Oh, wait a minute, Hammer. Let me get the hell out of the way, okay? Doro, you better move, too. He's dangerous. Okay. This case is too important to trust to you and your hunch. I'm going with you. Captain Trunk, I'm reporting live. Any new developments on the Jackson murder case? Um, actually, I can't... Um, I'm Inspector Sledgehammer. What the captain's trying to say is we just discovered some concrete evidence that will crack this case by tomorrow morning. Oh, no, you screwed up. That cop Sledgehammer is wise to us. No. He couldn't possibly be. I told you not to leave any clues. In and out, no fuss, no... Don't whine. If I wanted a man who whined, I'd date Dick Cabot. All right, Hammer, I have to admit that fake disclosure was a good idea. I know it's a long shot, sir, but it could flush out the killer. Now, one more thing, Hammer. What's that? Don't ever push me out of a close-up when I'm on camera. Makes you think you can shoot pool. The operative word here is shoot. When it comes to shooting, I'm the best there is. We played three games already. Nobody's even looked at us. Well, that's how pool hustlers operate. They move in on you slowly. You gotta keep your hands off the table, sir. You might lose that nail. I don't know. Oh, 
How did a nice girl like you get mixed up in a racket like this? So ignorant. I'm not a nice girl. <laughs> I like to call my shots. I'll take your arm off next. You do, and you'll pay for the jacket. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, come on up and fight like a man. Ah. Best shot I made all day. Boy, Heckles Miller sure had a good scam going. Yeah, next you'll be doing his hustling in the big house. Hammer, I can't get over how well you play pool. <laughs> Captain, I think I finally figured out how to do that jump shot. Now watch this. Oh, wait a minute, Hammer. Let me get the hell out of the way, okay? Doro, you better move too. He's dangerous. Here she comes. She's mad. I think you owe me the grand total of $50,000. Give me one more chance. No. I'll play a double or nothing. No. Shouldn't you give me one more chance? Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Looks like you found your hustler. No kidding, Darrow. Let's take her in. Not yet. I got one more game to play. What are you gonna do if she wins? Shoot her. Okay. Double or nothing. You break. I knew that would happen. Phone call. Make an appointment for a CAT scan. Miss Lorna, you handle your cue stick very well. May I join you in the game? <laughs> yeah, right, lady. Why don't you go get your ears pierced or something? Please, sir. I may not be a great player, but I could give you a good game. Just beat it, girlie, before somebody sees me talking to you. Come on, just one game. All right, if you're going to be pushy about it. Good. They should never allow women in pool halls. Now, to make it more interesting, shall we play for a few dollars? How much is a few? A hundred. It's your money, lady. Rack them up. That's a lousy smokescreen, lady. Watch this. Looks like I shoot better than the late judge. Sorry, lady. Pool party's over. Put that thing away before somebody gets hurt. Besides, it's not even a regulation cue. Ah! 
How did a nice girl like you get mixed up in a racket like this? I'm so ignorant. I'm not a nice girl. $150,000. You're serious? You bet. You haven't got any witnesses, and I'm not going to pay. Oh, yes, you are. Who are you? Iron Mike Hecklesmiller. Iron Mike? Don't ask. Now, you made quite a sizable bet with Lana here. It was a joke. Anyway, gambling is illegal, and it's your word against mine, so I'm leaving. Not so fast, Judgy. I've got it all on videotape. VHS and beta! It's not going to cost you a cent. We are going to take it out in trade. Hmm? Hammer, you're going to find this very, very interesting. Courthouse, where just moments ago, Judge Liam Jackson dismissed all charges against reputed mobster Ron Phil Curlman. He should have nailed him. His own mother testified against him. Oh, wait, here comes the judge. Judge Jackson, why the dismissal? No comment, you probing toad. Well, there you have it. This I guess your buddy's gone Ryan's soft. Report. Why would he do that? Why would he let that scum off? Ooh, what's that foul odor I smell? Hmm. What, are you wearing that perfume I gave you for Christmas? No. Cigar smoke. Cuban, I think. Your perfume smelled worse. Yeah. So the judge smoked cigars. And here's the matches. Guess he won't be needing these anymore, huh? You know, people who smoke usually use ashtrays. There are no ashtrays in this room. Well, he was rich. He used the carpet. Let's go. Let's see. Jackson. Divorced? Two kids, no close friends. See, not much else. Billiards. Pool. The judge was a pool player. Yeah, so? The blue chalk, the pool chalk, to chalk the cue, a clue. A clue? What cue? A clue. Look, I picked these up off the judge's desk. Pretty smart thinking, Hudero. Huh, They're from a pool hall. How does all this tie together? I have no idea. Let's go talk to Trump. I just got off the phone with the commissioner. He's been yelling at me every hour on the hour. Well, now you know what it feels like. He wants the judge's murder solved yesterday. Do you have any hard evidence I can go on? We've got something better than that, sir. Oh, that's terrific. I'll tell the commissioner. What is it? A hunch. God, Hammer. No, no, but it's a good one. You see, the coroner found blue chalk under the judge's fingernails. Then we found out the judge was a pool player.